Hello guys and in this video we will be talking a little bit about protein expression. Though the ter terms are just very small but actually it covers a lot uh, from biological perspective but here we will be talking about uh, very little about this. So uh, what we mean by protein expression? Protein expression simply means uh, that the production of proteins uh, from mRNA after the translation and the production of mRNA is possible due to the transcription of DNA. So actually protein expression means it is a journey from DNA because the DNA have all the important uh, codes that are available that are the recipe of a protein right of a fully functional protein. So the journey from a DNA to protein and ultimately the production of protein inside the cell will be termed as protein expression. Now generally inside the cell it is the expression means simply the transcription and translation of uh, mRNA to get the proteins but in lab in practical perspective protein expression could be a technical term in that case uh, we, we want to express certain genes to get proteins out of it uh, to ultimately get it. So expression of any gene also means the expression of gene in the form of protein because remember there are two different zones of it. One zone is the genome genotype, genotypic zone, other one is a phenotype. So those things are there and there is an interaction between genotype and phenotype possible. Now here in the genotype we have the gene inside the cell, inside the nucleus we have the gene. Now that gene, let us say the gene is for uh, the insulin hormone, so that means the gene can code for the insulin protein. Now the gene is present there, so it is inside the genotype. Now once it produces the proteins, let us say here insulin, it produces this insulin, the protein. In that case, we can actually see this or we can look at the effect, look at the physiological effect. Sometimes we can see things like let us say if it is a coloration of a flower, we can see that uh, but sometimes we cannot see it but we can actually realize that. For example, if the insulin hormone is present in our body, we can look at uh, we can actually realize it by going through the physiological conditions of our body. So these are the two things like phenotype and genotype. These two things are cross talking with each other always and we only the possibility that whatever we see whatever we know is the phenotype. So ultimately if there is no protein there won't be a phenotype visible to us whatever thing is in the genotype. So for that reason gene need to be expressed. If gene is present there gene is a very attention seeking thing. So they won't allow them to sit just like that. They always want people to know about it. So that's why they express themselves in the form of proteins, right? So these are proteins. In the form of proteins, once the proteins are produced, we see either visualize it or can feel the effect, uh, physiological effect. So that is called the protein expression. And for this stage to occur, we have the gene with the DNA. The first stage of it is the transcription, transcription. After the transcription what we get? We get the mRNA, we get an mRNA. Once we get the mRNA then the third stage for this process, second stage is in this process is translation. In that case ribosome will come in, ribosome comes in and start attaching amino acid one after another together to finally get us the protein that we want. So the protein. So everything concludes inside the protein expression in this case. Now once we have this expression of proteins, now the expression of protein is highly regulated inside the cell in both prokaryotes as well as eukaryotes. The mode of regulation is different from prokaryotes to eukaryotes. For example, in prokaryotes, uh, all the genes that are present are coding. So they, every part of the gene is coding. So they are coding different proteins, different times. So they have a control that, uh, so once uh, the mRNA is produced and the, and the ribosome slides along from 5 prime to 3 prime, they continuously produce proteins. And actually the preparation of mRNA, that is the transcription and production of protein, the translation works simultaneously in case of prokaryotes. While in eukaryotes the scenario is different because in eukaryotes inside the gene of eukaryotes if you look there are some portion can code for proteins but other portions will not code for any protein. So the portions that are coding for proteins are termed as the exons 
and the portions that are non coding are called as introns so this is the difference so in this case only the exons are capable of producing proteins and also they have separate segment of genes placed in distant locations in the genome so in eukaryotes once they have the dna inside the nucleus so once the mrna is produced mrna is produced inside the nucleus but after that that mrna is further modified the mrna is undergoing a process called splicing where all the non-coding segments or introns are cleaved out only attaching the exon sequences or the coding sequences so once that mrna treated mrna is matured it's prepared then that mrna is brought from the nucleus to the cytosol because the ultimate translation process or protein synthesis process will carry out inside the cytosol so then the protein synthesis take place but in prokaryotes there is no nucleus so everything dna replication transcription translation everything is occurring in the cytosol simultaneously const constitutively directly so that is the difference between the expression but the control is also tight because in eukaryotes multiple protein players are there so the control is much more difficult but in case of prokaryotes there is also control that are called operon things or operon concepts so if you want to know details about all these different stages you can watch all this video in my channel the, we i have all uh, the dif different topic videos but this in a sense is the protein expression guys so if you like this video do not forget to subscribe hit the subscribe button hit the like button comment on this video or share this video with your friends thank you